everybody's watching her But she's looking at you Hey guys, so today I am super excited. I have something awesome to share with you guys. So this weekend is the Europa here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to be there and I was offered the opportunity to work at the Buff Bake booth this weekend. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I'm going to be there on Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5. So come visit me. If you follow me on my Instagram or my YouTube, say hi. Let me know that you do follow me. I would love to meet every single person um, there at the Europa. And thank you, Buff Bake, for allowing me to help you guys this weekend. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I am seriously like, oh, I can't wait. And also, today's video is going to be a Halloween healthy treat recipe. Halloween is only once a year, so, you know, nothing's going to kill you. If you have a few pieces of candy, it's all right. You're not going to die. Anyway, so, um... I hope you enjoy these recipes. Let me know if you do, what else you'd like to see, and other than that, let's get to the recipes. All right, so let's get started with what we'll need. Shredded apples, coconut oil, pure maple syrup, unsweetened almond milk with vanilla extract and apple cider vinegar, pink sea salt, cinnamon, baking powder and baking soda, brown rice flour, one egg and coconut sugar. This is optional. Combine all of your wet ingredients and this is what it should look like. Then combine all of your dry ingredients and mix until they are fully combined. Once everything is all mixed up, mix your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients it should have a nice consistency, and this is about what it should look like. Grease your nonstick baking sheet with coconut oil spray and distribute that donut mixture evenly. I just heard you found the one you've been looking, you've been looking for. I wish I would have known that was me. your oven to 350 degrees and put those donuts in the oven. Cook for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven and take them out. Make sure you keep looking at them. They should look like this. The bottoms are going to be a little bit darker than the top. So to be fancy, I melted some chocolate so I can drizzle on top of the donuts and I just used the microwave method. Now for the fun part, start plating those babies and go to town with the chocolate. Use as much or as little as you want. I just wanted it to look pretty and of course it tastes really good with that dark chocolate on top. <laughs> enjoyed those apple donuts they were amazing let me just tell you I had three of them that's how good they were I know that they're small so it's all right I justified it in that way I'm like oh it's small I could have a few um, but anyway I let my family try them to see how they like them and everybody loved them even my brother who gives me the hardest time about healthy foods that I try to make so let me know how you like them if you try them and I will catch you in the next video see ya I got this feeling inside my bones.